Hi, everyone. My name is Tim, and I am one of the engineers on the Azure Spring Apps team. Today, I want to share with you a new feature we are adding to Azure Spring Apps Enterprise that will enable you to run Spring Batch applications in a simple, cost-efficient, scalable way. And so today, we are going to cover three topics, and then we will end with a demo. First, if you are not familiar with Spring Batch, I will give a high-level overview of what Spring Batch is and why you might want to use Spring Batch for certain application workloads in your enterprise. Second, I will share the details of a new feature we are releasing in Azure Spring Apps Enterprise that gives you first-class support for running your Spring Batch apps. Third, I will show how these come together so that you can deploy, run, and manage your Spring Batch apps easily on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. And finally, I will share a demo using the quintessential football Spring Batch application. So let's get started. First, what is Spring Batch? Spring Batch is part of the open source Spring libraries. If you are not familiar with Spring, it's an open source framework that allows you to build enterprise grade applications with Java. Spring Batch is one of the libraries that helps you build batch workloads. So let's take a quick deeper look at what Spring Batch is. It is a lightweight, comprehensive batch framework that is designed to enable the development of batch workloads that are vital to your organization's daily operations. The framework includes many features, such as the ability to read and write large data sets, the ability to do parallel data processing, and the ability to do transaction management. All of these features and more are important to ensuring that your batch processes run with correctness, especially when faced with errors. Spring Batch makes it easy and simple for you to write robust batch applications. Many organizations today are already using Spring Batch as the foundation for jobs that process important business operations daily on a nightly basis, or jobs that produce business intelligence reports on demand. You can see how Spring Batch is a vital part of any application stack. Spring Batch makes it easy for you to build these types of applications in a Spring idiomatic way. So if you are familiar with Spring, whether it's the features or the practices or the standards, the naming conventions, the way you build, deploy, and run apps, Spring Cloud environments, and so on, if you know how to build Spring applications powering REST APIs and microservices, you will feel right at home with Spring Batch. It is one of the most popular open source Spring projects for good reason. Let's look deeper at the kind of apps or workloads you can build with Spring Batch. First, extract, transform, and load, or ETL jobs. They are very common in integration scenarios. For example, you might need to load a large set of data. Spring Batch provides functions to help you load these from your favorite big data store. Maybe you need to transform them next, and sometimes the transformations may be simple, but often they are complex. So Spring Batch gives you a way to build reliable transactional transformation. It rolls back when there are failures, and there are many other features that make it easy for you to build large-scale batch transforms. Finally, when you're done, you need to load the results into another database. And so Spring Batch provides you a simple framework to build, extract, transform, and load jobs. The second thing is data migration. Many companies have legacy systems. When adopting a new system, you may have to migrate a legacy database to a new database. And this is where Spring Batch shines with all of the features that it supports in loading and transforming data, helping you migrate data from one to the other. And the best part is because Spring Batch is a job, you can run it frequently. You can test it. And then you can, even when in production, when both the legacy and the new database is running, you can keep them in sync. Third, parallel processing. There are scenarios where simply processing uh, a single operation is uh, not sufficient due to the large volume of data that you have. And so the only way to optimize this is by processing operations in parallel. 
This requires a robust transactional control and failure recovery mechanism. And these are complex to implement by yourself. But luckily, Spring Batch has taken care of this for you so that you can focus on writing your transformation jobs and you can let Spring Batch handle the transactional control and failure recovery mechanism. And the last is 24 by seven processing. Data flow is often constant. And so um, if each new piece of data triggers a full process, this can be very inefficient. Ideally, you have some way to boost mechanism to, uh, to optimize processing. And this is something Spring Batch allows you to configure. Today, I am also excited to share with you some of the new features that we added to Azure Spring Apps Enterprise that makes it simple, easy, and cost efficient for you to run your Spring Batch application. If you are not familiar with Azure Spring Apps Enterprise, it is a fully managed service that helps you focus on your application code and not infrastructure. It is a set of application lifecycle management features that is built on Kubernetes. It allows you to deploy, run, and manage your apps without having you know or manage the underlying Kubernetes infrastructure. And so you can simply deploy your jars or your point Azure Spring apps to your code repository, and Azure Spring apps will automatically build, deploy, run, and manage your application. Not only that, Azure Spring apps takes care of managing and optimizing the Kubernetes infrastructure for you. You don't have to think about Kubernetes at all. Once deployed, you can easily monitor your application performance, fix errors, and rapidly improve your application. Azure Spring Apps is integrated into the Azure ecosystem, and it works with all of your favorite Azure services. It is enterprise ready. Azure Spring Apps is jointly developed, operated, and supported by Microsoft and VMware. And so to understand jobs, Jobs is the new feature that we are releasing in Azure Spring Apps that helps you run batch applications. And so to understand jobs, we will compare them with applications. Applications is what's already supported today in Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. Applications are long running. This means that Azure Spring Apps Enterprise will run these applications as soon as they are deployed and will ensure they continue to run. So if an application terminates for any reason, an exception, an error, or even if it gracefully terminates, Azure Spring Apps Enterprise will restart the application. You can see how this feature is really good for application workloads like APIs, which you expect to be constantly up and running. And you want the underlying application platform to help you keep the application up and running. But you can see how this may not be suitable for batch workloads. And so Azure Spring Apps jobs are different. These are short-lived applications. This means a job runs only for its execution. When the job terminates, Azure Spring Apps does not restart it. It does not try to keep it running 24 seven. In other words, jobs have a definitive start time and a definitive end time. Underneath the hood, Azure Spring Apps is using the Kubernetes jobs feature to implement the jobs application model. Now, what's another difference between applications and jobs? Pricing is another difference. This is where, because applications are always running, they will always be charged. Jobs, on the other hand, are only charged when they run. And this is a really good feature for batch applications. You only wanna be charged when your batch application is running. You don't wanna be charged when they're not. And so with this, you can see how jobs is a natural way to support Spring Batch applications. Spring Batch apps tend to have discrete start times and end times. They tend to be triggered on uh, API or maybe on a timer, and they have a definitive end. And so jobs is a natural and easy way to support Spring Batch apps. So here are some benefits in summary. First, you can lift and shift your existing Spring Batch apps on Azure Spring Apps jobs. Take advantage of all of the features and benefits of running your job on a managed cloud service. Secondly, Azure Spring Apps Enterprise is effective at cost management. As I mentioned, when you run your Spring Batch app, it often starts and terminates within a defined period of time. Azure Spring Apps jobs 
ensures that you are only charged for the time that you are running. Third, you can focus on what matters. You can empower your Spring Batch apps to pull configuration from a Git repository using our managed configuration service. Um, you can talk to other microservices if you need uh, from your Spring Batch job. And all of these uh, can be done without any additional effort. Azure Spring Apps also eases your operational toil. You simply deploy your Spring Batch app from source code or from jars, and you don't have to worry about anything underneath the hood. You can just trigger your job and it'll run, it'll shut down gracefully, and you pay for what you use. Let's take a deeper look at the architecture so you have a better understanding of what is happening underneath the hood. Azure Spring Apps provides an application lifecycle manager for apps, and now we are introducing the lifecycle manager for jobs. Both apps and jobs have access to all the features in ASA that helps you build Spring applications quickly and efficiently. We provide managed components for build services, configuration, and service registry. This means you can leverage these applications as features and ASA will manage these for you. It saves you time and it gives you efficiency. Metrics and logs are sent to Azure Log Analytics and you can leverage build service to go code to cloud. As you push changes to GitHub, Azure Spring Apps will automatically build, package and deploy these batch jobs. Because you can deploy your applications and batch jobs into the same Azure Spring Apps instance, they can talk to each other without requiring complex networking setup and authorization. This means you can build a REST API that triggers a job, or your job can call a REST API to update status as it progresses. There are many applications and solutions you can build that leverage both applications and jobs, and they work seamlessly together with Azure Spring Apps. So let's put this all together. How do we deploy and run a Spring Batch app using the jobs feature on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise? I'm gonna show you some CLI commands and then we will end with a demo. It is really easy to get started with Spring Batch apps and ASA jobs. So first, what we'll do is we'll create a new job on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise and we'll give it a name. Second, we deploy the job. So what we do is we give it either a path to our Spring Batch jar, or we give it the path to a repository, which is a Spring Batch application. Azure Spring Apps will handle the rest. We will build, package, and deploy this application. Next, you can start the job. And you can start this job as many times as you want. In this case, I showed a CLI command for starting this job, but you can imagine you can add this to a script you can put this as part of your nightly job process, and you can just simply call the CLI command and it will start the job for you. You can specify parameters to your job or any environment variables that you may need, and that will be passed along to your spring batch job. Finally, you can check the status of the job with this execution list command. You can see whether the job started successfully, whether it is still running, and when it is completed, what the status of the job was. So you can see with very few commands, you can very quickly get up and running with your Spring Batch app on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. Now I wanna show you a demo of the football Spring Batch application running on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. In this demo, we are going to explore how to use Azure Spring Apps Enterprise to create, deploy, and manage jobs. Let's start by creating a new job with Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. I have already pre-created an instance of this service, so we will add a job to this service instance. So let's go to the instance and navigate to the new job blade. Click the Create Job button. In this panel, we will give the job name Football, since we are going to deploy the standard Spring Batch Football app. We can also configure any additional parameters for the job, as well as any environment variables and secrets that we need. Click the Create button and Azure Spring Apps will create the job. Once the job is created, we can deploy an application to run as a job. The sample project we will use is the sample football, and this app computes game statistics. In the portal, click Deploy Jobs. Copy the Azure CLI command 
that helps you deploy the job to Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. Open the command line, paste the CLI command, and replace the correct artifact path and run the command. It will take several minutes for the job to build and deploy onto Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. Now that the job is deployed, we can run the job. Unlike web apps, jobs don't run automatically. We have to start them. From the overview page of the job we just created, click the Run button to run the job. At this point, it is possible to customize the execution of the job with different parameters, such as environment variables and other things that you might need to pass to the job. Once the job is started, Azure Spring Apps Enterprise will send a notification that the job started successfully. In the execution blade, we can observe the status and results of the job. This job is fast, so we'll wait a few seconds, refresh the page, and then we should see the status of the job become complete. This means the job finished successfully. Often, it is useful to see the logs of a job. To do this, click View Logs to query the logs from the job execution. Finally, to clean up any resources, Navigate to the Job Overview page and click the Delete button to clean up any Azure resources, logs, and data created by the job. And that concludes our short introduction to job management with Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. In conclusion, I hope you can see both the value of Spring Batch and the Jobs feature in Azure Spring Apps Enterprise. Spring Batch is a framework that enables you to write batch applications easily whether your application is doing large-scale data processing or whether you're doing report generation. And it allows you to do this in a Spring idiomatic way. And Azure Spring Apps Enterprise Jobs is the best place to run your Spring Batch apps because it is a fully managed service that allows you to focus on running your application logic. No managing and tinkering with Kubernetes. Azure Spring Apps Enterprise takes care of all of these things for you so you can focus on the things that matter. And Azure Spring Apps Enterprise Jobs is cost efficient for you to run. You are only charged for when your jobs are running. The demo that I showed today is available on GitHub. You can follow this link to access the repository and follow the readme file to get started. You can follow and deploy this um, uh, football application on Azure Spring Apps Enterprise today. Thank you very much for your time.